Okay, welcome to my first uh, long form video on stadium accessibility reviews. Uh, today we'll be doing uh, UT Austin Stadium uh, that is the home of Texas Longhorns, uh, Gerald K. Royal Texas Memorial Stadium, or DKR for short. That's in Austin, Texas. So, uh, general information about the stadium uh, it's located on San Jacinto Boulevard in Austin, a seating capacity. Uh, it's one of the 10 largest stadiums in the world across all venues. Uh, it's just over 100,000 people uh, capacity wise. And uh, it's got a modern design surrounded by city streets. Uh, and again, some of the biggest challenges, if, if you, you know, you are a wheelchair user or uh, just, you know, you have mobility concerns um the, it is going to be rather hilly um it's rather noisy uh, there is a stadium cannon after every score it's just something to keep in mind there of course there are park parking and shuttle services available uh shuttle parking is available um according to this map here which i will link in the description below um only thing is, individuals are required to make their own wheelchair preparations at the stadium as the stadium does not provide uh, wheelchair rentals. So make sure you have those accommodations worked out beforehand. Elevators and ramps. Uh, just a summary here. Uh, they are located at Belmont Hall on the west side of the stadium, uh, gates one and seven on the east side of the stadium, and on the north end of the stadium in the Red McCombs Red Zone uh, in Gate 14, and for suite holders, Gate 16. First aid services are listed here. Some things to know, um, you know, always consult medical professionals. Uh, emergency, emergency medical technicians are located throughout the stadium, uh, near the stadium portals. Um, there are cooling stations provided at the stadium for a Hot weather games and most games at the stadium will be rather warm, uh, pretty much up until October, end of October. So, how to purchase tickets? You can purchase them online. Uh, the you know the official way to purchase them would be through TexasSports.com/tickets uh, using promo code. You can use a promo code for uh, accessible seating, uh, and that promo code is ADA. Uh, the most reliable third-party site is SeatGeek or Ticketmaster. Uh, that's going to get you uh, the ability to purchase tickets uh, through another party. Um, by phone, you can call the ticket office directly. That's their number there. And then uh, they're open weekdays, uh, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Central Time. And again, I can't stress this enough. Uh, you know, everybody wants a ticket. Everybody wants a place to sit. Uh, the ADA accessible seats are limited, so be sure to uh, reserve them as soon as you can. Uh, you can also get them in person if they are still available. Um, you know, but, but again, get them as soon as you can, and uh, the best place to get them is online. Accessible seating, uh, just... A few highlights here. I do have a diagram, which I will link below. Uh, sections two and seven. Section seven, uh, row one, and then all the way from uh, section 125 up in the mid-level. And uh, you can see here the list, which uh, I'll link this pres or this presentation in the description below as well. Restrooms, baby changing stations are available at all public restrooms at DKR. Uh, single stall restrooms are located next to every public restroom. So these are wheelchair accessible uh, and uh, they are located next to every restroom uh, throughout the stadium. Food and drink policy, uh, really key here. You're allowed to bring in one factory sealed soft bottle plastic bottle of water. Uh, patrons may not bring in any other food beverages alcoholic beverages, of course. Um, you can bring snacks according to their website. 
uh, for medical reasons. I would still keep those very limited. Um, if you are going to bring any snacks, make sure to bring them in a, a you know clear plastic bag uh, because they do have a clear bag policy. If you want to eat before the game or after the game, I've listed some options here. Um, if you want a vegan option or Japanese, uh, Lavaca Tapan is, is located on Lavaca Street. Uh, if you like burgers, um, there's a burger place on Manor Road. And then, of course, wouldn't be a game in Texas without some Tex-Mex. Uh, it's El Chile at uh, on uh, Manor Road as well. Uh, places to stay the night. I've listed them here. Decent, better, and best. Um, you know, all the way from Hampton Inn to, you know, the at t Hotel Conference Center are just some options here. But there's a lot of places to stay. Now, during, you know, key games and, like, the homecoming game and and uh, Red River Rivalry and, well, that that's in uh, Dallas area, but... Even in Dallas area, if you if you stayed in you know in, in the Dallas area for that game, you, you know you want to reserve it ahead of time. So be sure to reserve it ahead of time. Uh, other important notes: um, closed captions are shown in the video board for those with um, hearing impairment, and then uh, there are up to three companions allowed. Um, with a guest with a disability. So that includes family members. Uh, and uh, yeah, they can sit with you. Um, and there is seating for them next to a handicapped seat. Overall, I give this stadium a 7.5. Uh, it's not great, you know, but it, it's, it, it does the job. And uh, you can have a fun time there um, if you're you know, a person with a disability. Uh, just remember, it does get quite loud, so, you know, maybe bring some headphones um, and, uh, you know, prepare beforehand, uh, pack some snacks with you uh, in a clear plastic bag um, that, of course, for medical reasons, if you need some. And uh, there's tons of food options throughout the stadium as well. Uh, overall, it's a must-see if you're a sports fan, so I, I definitely recommend going. Uh, useful links. I will post these down in the description of the video. Uh, I've got everything from the food and drink map to seating diagrams to shuttle maps uh, and also to the football schedule for 2024. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, this is my first long form video on this channel. Uh, please stay tuned for other accessibility reviews and other content. I'm looking to grow this channel, uh, so I appreciate it. I still am going to do the the uh, push-ups every day and fitness videos, So, uh, but I appreciate you guys watching this video and uh, sticking with me.